All I'm saying is that we'll all be judged in the end. All of your brothers. And you, Patrick. And you, Kate. Who's gonna judge Kate? What would she win if they did, Virgin of the Year? No. I'm thinking maybe you can catch VD for both Fuck of us, you, Patrick. Fuck you, Katie. Language. Sorry, Ma. Ho oh, ho, there he is, Mr. Fucking Crazy Man. You want a beer? No. Good, because I ain't fucking got none. Very funny. Maybe if being a drunkard doesn't work out, you can be a comedian. Fuck off. <laughs> and you, Kate, fuck off out of here. But aren't you going to introduce us? Sure. This is Nico, some drug dealing to fucking generate from some armpit in Eastern Europe. That's my ma. Nice to meet you. Hi. And this is my sister, lovely lass, scared to bits of life, and fucking off out of here right now before I throw a fucking bottle at her. Patrick. Nice to meet you. Likewise. See you around. Bye. What a girl. I think she likes you. Word to the wise, though, she don't put out. Which is convenient, because if she did, I'd have to kill you. Understood. Good lad. You got any drugs on you, boy? No. Shit. Well, probably a good thing. We got some business to take care of. Come on. We've got business out at the docks in Algonquin. Where's your car, man? We need a car. Okay, there's a ship coming in, and we're the welcoming party. Who are we welcoming, and what have they got that makes this drive worth the effort? We're welcoming some of our cousins from the east, but we don't know what it is that they're bringing in. Exactly. All we know is that it's worth a dollar or two. My brother Gerald had word about it through this Italian, Ray Bacino. He gave us the heads up in exchange for a cut of the haul. What makes you think that the information is legit? First off, I don't trust this guinea for a second. We wouldn't be working for him if our family still had the same status it did back in the day. But that's another story. Am I going to hear this story? Anyone who hangs around my family hears about the old days. Just wait. Oh yeah, Ray Bacino's a slimy motherfucker. The one thing you can rely on him for is greed. I'm too small time to be worth setting up, so the one angle he can be playing is the cash one. Makes sense. Yeah, he'll probably try to give us a fraction of whatever this stuff's worth, but it'll be a fun night. Depends on what you think is fun. A stealing, gunfire, car chases, all the usual stuff. Usual for you and me, maybe. The general population, I'm not so sure. General population? That's a prison term. You ever been inside? Not in this country. In Europe. They do things different there. Not so much of the fun in the shower that you guys have here in America. Must have been a real disappointment. Bet a guy like you thought he was gonna be real popular with the lifers. Did no one pay you any attention? As I said, the whole prison bitch thing is an American phenomenon. It don't happen on the other side of the ocean. Well, you gotta do some time over here. See what you've been missing out on in your chaste European jails. I'm going to pass on that. Send me a postcard if you do some time. Will do. Might even put you on the visitors list. Ah, I'd be fucking touched. You'd be touched if you did some time, that's for sure. We would see if they'd be able to touch me. I got some moves. You're a good man, Nico. I like you. Not in a fun in the showers kind of way. In a, a male bonding about to go rob some people kind of way. I think I know what you're saying. All right, here we are. What's the plan? We get up on the roof of that warehouse. There should be a good view of the dock so we can scope that shit out. We're going this way. Follow me, Nico. You better be right about this shipment. If it's just fish, I'm gonna be pretty irritated, Pecky.
This is where the deal's meant to be going down. And here's the boat, right on time. See those boxes on the back of the boat? They must be bringing clone meds. Meds? Yeah, stuff that'll stop housewives cutting their wrists and make their husbands get wood. Meds. Molly, sedatives, antidepressants, meds. Okay, how do we do it? We'll wait until the truck is loaded, then we'll take it. Simple as that. I'll cover you from up here while you're down on the ground cleaning up. These better be some good fucking pills. The housewives better be grateful. You gotta jump down there to get at him, man. Now, Mr. Davis. Yes, Judge Grady. I mean, we were together for a while. She was fine. She carries herself. All right, Nico, you drive. I'll take out anyone who tries to follow us. We're going up to Ray's lockup in Westminster off of Union Drive West. She scratched my brand new truck. I needed a truck because I'm an accountant. Is that so? You scratched his truck? His new accountancy truck? The kind of truck a man who works on an I'm gonna die of fucking like boredom going again. at this speed. What kind of woman scratches a man's truck? Hey, that's his manhood just scratching. The very essence of his masculinity. He's sick. Piece of advice. Don't get up when I fucking put you down. They're taking this real serious, aren't they? They do not like to be robbed, I guess. Not many people do. If that's a lesson I've learned, fucking Pacino said it'd be easy. Good thing I enjoy a good rock. What the hell? Is it Chinese New Year already? There's about to grenade in here. Pass them up, Becky. I'll get them a case of their own fireworks. You should have backed off a long time ago. Run, crazy boy! You ain't no fucking match for me! Give it up, my man. Check the cops, Nico! Yeah, so every time she turns on the air conditioner, her car smells like my shit. I'm 
The stuff all in there? Sure is. All safe and sound. Whole truckload of it. Well, the wives and mistresses are gonna be happy when their men gonna hold it all, huh? Whole city's gonna be hard in a few days' time. Who's this? That's my boy, Nico. He's an absolute savior. Couldn't have done it without him. Nico! Come over here! You work for these mick bastards? Fucking guinea. I work for whoever's paying. I might give you a call sometime. Get in, Packy. Hey, I'll catch you around, man. Subject last on the Union Drive West, Westminster. is prepped and waiting off Grummer Road in Northwood. Your sometime accomplice, Jacob, is there. He's riding shotgun on this one. Jacob? The Rasta? Don't ask unnecessary questions. I want you to take out this guy's chopper. He was last spotted in Varsity Heights. No civilian casualties. Yes, here's my man, Nico. Hey, Jacob. I mean, you see some people on the... Yo, Nico, some serious firepower up in here. Rocket launcher, boom! Let's find him and get this over with. I don't like being in this man's pocket. Yeah, There's nothing but butter, butter. I don't know, but one man wore a leather hood, and the other one cried a lot. Well, at least you're in that. Well, you saw it. You do jokes about bad people. Some bad people were going to protest your show. Drop the mic head on, so stop my fire to get wet. There'll be the other chopper. Stick to him, Nico. We need to take him down there with no people. For a man who is happy to kill a lot of men, this guy is really safety conscious. Say, you got that government thing about him. I feel great and good and thing. I have the feeling he don't want to be responsible for a helicopter crash in Middle Park. Show that. Shows you that the people who need spy shit done get other people to do their dirty work. See, Bridget, everything crash. Shit, Jacob! You really gotta smoke that thing now? The secondary smoke doesn't exactly help my hand eye coordination. And I'm paranoid enough with US government on my ass. Whatever. Actually, just smoke it. Over the water! 
The plan was they were gonna hide the diamonds in the queen's ass. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, Nico. Hey, Kate. Get your fucking hands off my fucking sister, boy. We're talking, not having casual sex, Patrick. I pray after the amount of practice you've had, you'd know the difference. Ooh. Sure, I know the difference. One leaves you feeling sad and empty and alone, and the other's casual sex. <laughs> then I'm quite sure you and Mr. Nico here will have fun on your play date. Hey. Coming, Ma! You boys play nice now. For sure! Kate! Okay! Oh, we're gonna play real nice. <laughs> They're clean as a fucking whistle. One previous owner, yeah. 
safely driven, ready for action. We got an opportunity, my boy. Yep, fortune favors the brave. Gotta make hay while the sun shines. So is you down, boy? Or is you out? Down for what? Down for robbing a thief. Robin Hood. Exactly, Robin fucking Hood. <laughs> Who are you going to rob? The fucking mafia, yeah. boy. <laughs> mm. Is the money good? What's the risk? Well, the risk is we all die a very slow and painful oh. death. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and the money is good, very good indeed. So you in, big guy? Or we gonna have to kill you? Well, since you put it that way, I mean, right. good. All right, right. all right. Let's yeah, go. let's do this. Can you get us a car, man? I'm afraid these two idiots can't drive for shit. Fuck you, Packy. Yeah, fuck you. Controlled waste management plant? You fucking guessed it. It's an Ancelotti operation. Ray tipped us off about a big payoff they just got. A fat cash payoff. Ancelotti's, eh? I can't tell none of those block families apart. Ancelotti's, Gambinos, Pecorinos. It's the fucking Pegarinos, man. We're working for them. Pecorinos are a type of cheese. Pegorinos is a bunch of Guido gangsters out of Alden. They're all mafia, though? Of course they are. Cosa Nostra and all that shit. Our family used to be bigger than all them mafia families put together. Back in the day, that is. Not this shit again. I heard this speech a million times. McCreary's ran the city. People were scared to say their name, let alone come near their place of purgatory. Life was great. We were in charge. It's fucking true. I'd like to hear you tell Gerald that it's a boring story. My brother wouldn't take too kindly to that now, would he? You know the Purgatory is called what it is because people were so scared of the McCreary's? Did you know that, Nico? It's called that because people found the McCreary story so fucking boring. Listening to them was like being in Purgatory. Fuck you, Gordon. I'll fucking come back there and kick your fucking ass in a minute. I hear that Francis McCreary is your brother. Fucking Frankie, my brother. He may have a badge, but I tell you for a fact, he's as crooked as the rest of us McCreary's. More so. At least we ain't fucking hypocrites. Kate's the only decent one. I can believe that. You know Frankie, do you? I got a story for you if you do. Another fucking story. Shut up, Gordon. So, Nico, when Francis and Gerald was growing up, Frankie becomes an altar boy. He swears to this day that he wanted to serve the Lord. Jerry knows the truth, though. He only put on that cassock so he could pocket the change in the collection plate. Fact. That's Francis, down to a fucking T. I don't even know if he realizes what a crook he is. That sounds like the Francis McCreary I met. I bet. Model community leader my ass. You're just worried he'll start clamping down on you. Ain't you, Paggy? I'd like to see him try it. Not gonna happen with the things Jerry knows. Here we are, boys. Moment of fucking truth. All right, boys. If Ray is correct, then the money's going to be kept in the office in the main building. And there should be a boat docked out back for the getaway. All right, it's up and over the fence. Don't go too fucking far, Nico.
Let's go inside and find this money. Kids, I got the kid! Shit! Make a swim for it with the money. See you back at the house, back. Try to keep the money dry, will ya? I don't know how my book is gonna be about. Swimming for it, eh? Sure, my boy. There's the boat just out there. I'll race you. That don't mean I can drive one. Fuck it, though. I'll give it a try. Don't wear pants. Michael Graves says he supports family values, but his wife is a harlot and has aborted five children. Maybe Michael Graves has forgotten the tragic events a few years ago. He wants to end the war on terror and make America and your children. That was fucking beautiful. We did ourselves proud. My brother Jerry's gonna be fucking ecstatic. Providing the ancient lobbies don't figure out it was us, they ripped them off. And don't fucking worry about it. But this figure was another one of the five families. Us McCreary's are under the fucking radar nowadays, it ain't a problem. I hope you're right, for my sake. But shut up and think about the money. If that don't work, think about my sister. I'll tell you though, you're only getting your hands on one of those things, you maniac. And it ain't gonna be my Katie. I'll think about the money then. What a trooper. Blowing of her exhaust too. We did it. Top of the fucking world. Here's your share. Don't go spending it in any Italian restaurants. I'll see you soon, Becky. talking about, man? I'm saying, would you take my sister Katie out for a drink or something? She don't get out much. Sure, it's not go on hey, We're starting to worry. She likes you, just as friends. I'm gonna send you a number. I'll give her a call, man, but uh, I don't think she'll want to see me. Trust me, she will. 
Call her, man. 